Well, we got a couple of whitetail bucks sneaking in here right behind us. We're sitting on this bridge here. I was actually hoping that we may get lucky enough to get a shot off on them, but... Oh, we actually just made... Hold up. We got a doe crossing. They're going to cross right here. Oh my god, they're crossing right here. Okay, so if the doe's there, the buck should be... There he is. There's the buck. In fact, we got two bucks right there. Oh boy, that buck bolted. Why did they spook, though? You know, just when I thought both those bucks managed to evade us, we ended up spotting him out here at about 280 yards. There he is right there bedded. And as you can see, this is where they were right here. They crossed right here, and then they busted us, took off this way, and now we just spotted him right out there. Right there. All right, so we're going to go for about a 280-yard shot. Now, he is quartering kind of directly away from us. So I think we'll probably zero for 300 and hold right for center. Perfect shot. He smoked. There's another buck right there taking off as well. There's a doe. Well, I do believe he went down. All right, we took the shot at that buck when he was bedded right here. You can see we got a nice vital hit. He was running this way, and I'm pretty sure we spotted him right there. And there he is piled up. Let's go take a look at him and see how that shot actually performed. It was about 300 yards, and that shot was a 297-yard perfect right lung shot as he was quartering away at a 176 whitetail buck. There we go. Great shot and a great whitetail buck. Okay, I am not making this up, but we just found another rare piebald cow moose. There she is right there, 70 yards away. We just came over to this lake here to check it out for the first time. And sure enough, literally the first moose we walked up on is this rare. She's 70 yards out. And I've always wanted to take down a rare piebald moose with the recurve bow. And now I feel like we're about to get the chance. Although the 540s are not going to work out too well for this. So we're going to throw in the 700s. And I'm pretty excited to go for the shot. We'll probably go for about like a 60 yard shot. Because last time we made a good shot on that big bull. It's just the wind pushed it. But now the wind is kind of right in our face. So I feel like we shouldn't really have any obstacles. We could zero in for 60 and let one fly right there. So I think we'll probably do that. I'm going to hold for the heart because last time we shot high. You know, that's not exactly an ideal shot because it's in the brush. Oh, but that was... I held right for the heart. It looked good. It wasn't good. It was not good. How do I mess up that shot so many times? It looked perfect. I'm wondering if maybe we hit it right in the vertebrae. Well, what was that? What was that? There it goes. 50%. I guarantee it, we hit that thing right in the vertebrae, down to 25%. And the worst part is, I knew we were going to shoot high. But the thing is, I couldn't hold too low because it was already kind of lined up with this brush here. And if we would have held too low, then there's a chance we could have hit the brush and the shot wouldn't even have counted. So anyways, I'm actually okay the fact that we did hit a vertebrae shot on that moose. As long as we get a little bit of time... Should bed down, and we'll have ourselves another rare piebald moose. And just like that, we got ourselves a rare piebald moose. Another one. Nothing super impressive, but hey, there's a couple of bulls over there. So let's try and take one of these down. better yeah let's try and take two of these down oh that one went down quick and that one i believe just piled up because all i see is a cow did we get two over there yes we did we got two more down and we also took out our zone anyways let's get back over here and track down this moose got some good blood down to 50 percent health 
I believe it cut up here. And according to these tracks, that's exactly what happened. And I'm seeing a rare piebald moose down right over here. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care that we didn't make a perfect shot. All that matters is I really wanted to take it down with the recurve bow, and we did that, so. Oh, hold up! Stomach shot! We hit it high and far back, but overall, I mean, that's a decent shot to get intestine. But another sweet-looking rare moose. There we go. As we're going to pick up our other two moose, I'm going to show you the location that we're at right now. We're over here on the southeast side of the map by Town Ridge Cabin. And we got those moose right here. Our rare piebald came from right here. All right, we got a good bull out here at 400 yards. Now we're actually sitting up in a tripod looking down this valley here all the way along this river bottom. And he's quartering almost directly away from us. So what I want to try and do is see if we can't catch the heart on this bull at about 400 yards. All right, it looked really good. Really, really good. And I believe he just piled over right there. Now you'll notice we didn't hold very high, but that's because we're super high up here shooting downwards. So our bullet will have quite a bit of uh, elevation. But overall, it looked pretty solid to me, and I can't imagine he's going to go too far. In fact, I believe he's probably piled up right on the river bottom. Got another moose calling down here, so he may see another bull along the way. Yep, there she is. There's another one right next to her, but I can't tell if it's a bull or a cow. It's a bull. Not a very big bull. But it's definitely a bull. And another cow. And another cow. So we got three cows and a small, tiny bull. Yeah, I guess we'll leave them for now. All right, so we took our shot at that bull moose right here, and you can see he piled up maybe 50 yards away, just over to the east side. And he piled right up. There's our shot, 389 yards. And we were actually just a little bit too far back for the heart. We were good for perfect double lung, but we got left lung and liver, but ideally we would have needed to have been a little more forward, which would have been right there. And I still don't know if we could have hit heart, but there's a chance. Whoa. 